we'll just quickly run through um, our um, product form enough enough is enough today um, as you know enough is enough is partnering with us every Monday to ensure that um, they inform the citizens on different um, different things regarding governance right and today we want to look at the um, the issue of the police especially with the recent happenings um, around the police. Remember we talked about the police and if, if we can actually end impunity in the police uh, sector. So today, um, when you hear the phrase, police is your friend, right, it seems you know, to have lost its meaning uh, for many Nigerians due to the constant altercations between police officers and citizens. So, of course, in conjunction with enough is enough, Nigeria, we are asking, is the police... Um, <laughs> Um, truly a friend in need. And I think, Noma, you have, you know, some kinds of history or background to set us off, you know, on the conversation and Diola well as well. Absolutely, Uwa. So what the law says about, um, on the, uh, about the police under the criminal code is that any citizen that assaults a police officer is liable to serve up to three years imprisonment. And the penalty for a police officer assaulting a citizen is as much as 25 years imprisonment. So you can see that there's much more penalty on the police officers who are supposed to be upholding the law. And um, the way forward to help citizens to begin to rebuild the relationship with the police as, you know, preferred by enough is enough is that Enforcement agencies need to have red, uh, regular medical checkups and mandatory psychological assessment across board for all the uh, law enforcement officers. This is because sometimes because of what they go through, the emotional and uh, the trauma and uh, you know, very uh, serious situations that they have to go through, it's important that they are they go through psychological analysis to ensure that they are fit and able to do their job. Okay, go ahead, Diola. So let's just run through. Okay, okay so taking it um, from where um, Norma stopped, um, again, as part of the way forward in ensuring that um, we have a more robust um, police enforcement, um, is um, the Nigerian police force should implement internal control and independent external oversight over the activities of police personnel. Um, the second thing is um, the Police Service Commission, the Human Rights Commission, the Attorney General of the Federation, the cuts, and other public officials have to play their part in keeping police officers accountable. I mean, this goes back to what we always say. If everybody's doing their job, I mean, there would always be round holes, round pegs and round holes. Everybody would hold each other accountable and we can begin to stay real sustainable growth and development. Absolutely. So um, so if you are assaulted uh, or you've been assaulted by a police officer, um, notice that um, there are some things, you know, this is how you respond to if there's any issue of assault. You can record a video during the act. Um, to present as evidence later. You can register a complaint with the Complaint Response Unit of the Nigerian Police Force, and that's on www.npf.gov.ng slash complaint22, right? Not complaint, complaint with a T, right? And then how can you also respond continuation would be reach out to the organized um, uh, organizations aimed at seeking justice against human rights infringements, some also um, officers, some some of the officers rather they offer pro bono legal or um, legal um, services such as citizens gavel. Um, that's on www.gavel.ng. Um, you can also hire legal services, you know, to take actions. Um, so I mean, for more information, if you want to know more about your governors, your senators, House of Reps, State House of Assembly, local government chairman, and all of that. Go to 017006381. Just say hello to the chat box for Enough is Enough and you will get 
many relevant informations there. It's important that we keep on bringing issues around. So we, we've we looked at, we've tried different things, PVCs and all of that. We're seeing how a lot of things are being lopsided, right? So let's also start to find, as we're trying to solve the problem from the angle of maybe voting the right leaders in, let's also try to also equip ourselves with information that then helps us, you know, to keep our leaders accountable. All right, so here's what we found as today's quote. We're going to run through that. Um, we're torn to pieces by parties and animosities. For my part, I see no end to them. Um, as you may know, um, several people such as the Labour Party and PDP uh, presidential candidates are protesting the outcome of the February 25th presidential polls where Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu was proclaimed winner. Now with the current situations happening with the Labour Party leadership today, we'll be discussing the tribunal slash the Labour Party crisis and its impact on the inauguration, if there will be any. Now we have with us David Houdain. We'll do all of that when we come back from the break. Stay with us.